One thing I can promise you this. I will always tell you the truth. Donald Trump lies like breathing. He doesn't know what the truth is. The crowd was massive. That was all the way back down to the Washington Monument. It looked like a million, a million and a half people to get this network. And it showed an empty field. And it said we drew 250,000 people. Now that's not bad, but it's a lie. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. We built the greatest economy in the history of the world, best unemployment numbers, best everything. And I gave you the biggest tax cut in the history of our country. took care of the VA with Veterans Choice. You saw that what Obama passed was nothing. You know, the wall is being built and we're doing 10 miles, 10 miles a week. It'll be completed very soon. So we're going to Texas. We're going to the southern border. As you know, we've completed the wall. They may want to expand it. And Mexico is paying for the wall, by the way, in case you had any questions. These fact checkers, they'll check facts with me and I'm like, like 99% right. And they'll say, and therefore, he lied got 28 billion dollars from China that went to our farmers because they targeted you. We tariffed China a lot of money and they paid for it. You didn't pay. You know, the fake news likes to say you pay. You don't pay. They paid. won Georgia easily. We won it by hundreds of thousands of votes. Actually, I won Wisconsin. We will win this, and we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won it. before an administration that's been so open and transparent. I was the most transparent and am transparent president in history. Some of the most dishonest people in media are the so-called fact-checkers.
They say the noise causes cancer. You tell me that one, okay? <laughs> I went through the whole Mueller hoax. They did this big report. I was totally exonerated. Did you actually totally exonerate the president? No. Your reports expressly states that it does not exonerate the president. It does. My father is German, right? Born in a, a very wonderful place in Germany. No religion, no anything. Hurt the Bible, hurt God. Twelve years ago, I was named Man of the Year of Michigan. Can you believe it? Long before I thought about it. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden! Who would believe this? Sweden! Problem is, nothing much had happened in Sweden. Sweden is accusing Trump of fake news. By the way, I brought back Big Ten <laughs> football. It was me, and it, I'm very happy to do it. If you don't test, you don't have any cases. If we stop testing right now, we'd have very few cases, if any. This is going to go away without a vaccine. It's going to go away, and it's, uh, we're not going to see it again. Donald Trump tells more lies and falsehoods than any president in either party in history. I have to be always very truthful, because if I'm a little bit off, they call me a liar. They'll say he gets a Pinocchio, the stupid Washington Post. Oh boy, these people are bad. What a group of people we have. What a group of dishonest scum we have, I'm telling you. So many lies, so many fabrications, so much exaggeration.